You should let me love you. Let me be the one to give you everything you want and need. Ah. Y'all know, know that. Okay, okay, yeah. But Mario, you know. Okay. I want a romantic woman. Hello, welcome in. What's your Hello. name? Hello, my name is Pointer. Pointer, how old are you? I'm 30. Okay, and what do you do? I am a talk show host and an educator. Okay, very cool. Uh, what are some things you like to do for fun? I love to do the three E's. I like to eat, I like to exercise, and I like entertainment. I like to be entertained. Okay. Yeah. Um, so what are some things you look for in a woman? What I'm looking for in a woman, most importantly, uh, you have to love Jesus. Mm. I love Jesus. Um, and I also want a woman that's romantic. You know, um, I believe it was the prolific artist Mario that said, you should let me love you. Let me be the one to give you everything you want and need. Ah. Y'all know, know that. Okay, I'm, okay, yeah. But Mario, you know. Okay. I want a romantic woman. Someone that lets me love them. Okay. <laughs> uh, what are some of your deal breakers? Deal breakers. Um, poor communication. Mm -hmm. You know, I really want an effective communicator. Someone, if you're tripping, if there's a problem, let me know. You know, I'm open to communicate. And um, the, the ratchet music, mm -hmm. like excessive. I'm more Motown. I'm more old school. Yikes. I'm more Motown. You know, so I like the older music. Okay. So that's, that's kind of my thing. I don't know if this is who he really is or if he's trolling. Okay, I'm on the fence right now. I'm like 50-50 <laughs> trying to figure this thing out. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section, but let's keep going. Okay, got it. Yeah. All right, so we did get a few pop balloons. Right. Let's go on over there, see why they ended up All popping. Right. All right. <laughs> okay, let's start with your name and age. I'm Jojo and I'm 30. Hello, Jojo. Oh, okay. Jojo, why'd you pop your balloon? Uh, at first, it was it was the look. It was the hair. <laughs> but you're, it's a character. It's fun. But um, It's me. And then the the ratchet music, like I listen to Motown everything too, yeah. but I, I gotta have a little bit of everything. Okay. And ratchet okay. is on that list. I just meant I guess someone exclusive, just mm -hmm. only. Only. Okay. Ski ye, you know that's just a little too much. Like, like give me some. But if you have the okay. variation, that's that's great. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now is JoJo someone that's your type? Yeah, she's a baddie. She's a baddie. She knows she's a ten. She's a baddie with her baddie friends. Okay, never mind. Oh my yeah. god. So I was trying to give you that ratchet. I was trying to give you that. You I know. appreciate that. But yes, absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, man. man. Yo, they're popping like crazy. Your name and age? I try so hard. <laughs> she can't even breathe. I thought it was relevant. Didn't y'all think it was? Okay. <laughs> My name is Shayna, and I'm 30. Awesome. Okay, I love that you love the Lord. Yes. But honestly, you were way too funny for me. I thought, don't y'all like a sense of humor? Like It's, it's too much. Like, too it's much. way too much. Okay. You Have seem you like a nice guy. I like it's just too much for me. I understand. Thank you, Shayna. <laughs> no problem. You know. Now, is Shayna someone that's your type? Oh, absolutely. Yes. I love the purple, purple rain. I'm a Prince fan, so it's looking good. <laughs> Thank you. Let's go on over here. Your name and age? I'm Deja Marie. I'm 33. Awesome. And Deja Marie, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, when you came out, it almost seemed like you were in costume, and I didn't like the hair piece or like the toupee or what that is. <laughs> Um, but you speak very well and you have a very nice smile. I love your teeth. Oh. Um, it's very welcoming. Um, wow. So you have a beautiful smile. So it was just the hair. Was it, was, it was just the, it just seemed like you were in maybe costume or something. I, I don't see that you would go out and dress like that or maybe have I'll, that. I'll switch it up for you. I can, I can vary. It, is it a hair piece? Uh, well, it, it identifies as a part of me, but I switch it up just like a lot of my beautiful queens. We all go from one hairstyle to the next in like a day or two. So I like okay. to switch it up. That was it. I, I just didn't know if it was Yo. like your everyday look or if you were coming out to no, be No, I'll funny. switch it up for you. I just didn't, no, like, I I did, I didn't like that. Deja Marie, I would switch it up. If you need me to switch it up. If we locked in, there is switching up. Because... I like that. Okay. okay. But that was all. Okay, okay. Now she's someone that's your type? I'm, I'm going to say yes. Uh, she's thicker than a snicker, so I think that's always, you know, a great thing. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Deja. Thank you. All right, your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon? My name is Misha, and I'm 27. Um, the reason that I popped my balloon, um, I just kind of felt like it wasn't serious when you came out. It kind of felt like a, like she said, kind of like a like a show or something. I do appreciate it. You seem like a really nice man though, but I was just really trying to see the real you and I don't feel like I'm getting the real you right now. Could you get a, okay, okay, okay. okay. It's real though, I'm <laughs> real, right, I'm right. real. You know, I'm a talk show host, I educate, love the kids, uh -huh. you know, it's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm kind of leaning towards the fact that he is trolling, okay? He got the toupee on, 
He has a talk show voice going on. Um, I don't know, right? I don't think he's really taking this serious, if I'm being completely honest. This could very well be marketing 101, okay? I have a talk show host show or some sort of program that you can tune into. <laughs> so let me go ahead and, you know, be the persona of the talk show host, I guess, on a dating show, okay? So I don't know if he's necessarily taking this serious, but let me know what you guys think. I would love to see the real one, though. <laughs> the real one, okay. Now she's someone that's your type? I love her height. Yes, mm, so I'm, uh, taller is better normally. Uh, taller children would mm -hmm. be produced. So yeah, that, that would be that'd be great. <laughs> yeah, I love the height. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Miriam. I'm 34. Um, at first, it was the overall look. Um, it was just too cheesy for me. And then, you know, as I kind of listened to him, I know you said you were big on, you know, religion. And you are a Christian, Jesus. I'm a Muslim, and I'm big on mm. religion as well. Okay. And I just felt like that would be a clash. And mm. you're funny, you know, and I like somebody who makes me laugh, but more like a, that's my homeboy, my little brother, cousin, mm. you know, like, yeah, dating-wise, no. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I understand. All right. I understand. Is uh, Miriam someone that's your type? Yes, you know, Allahu Akbar. I uh, definitely appreciate my Muslim sisters. Um, yes. What country? Uh, Somalia. I'm from oh, Somalia. Oh, oh man. Yeah. Well, wonderful. I might have to travel there. Yes. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. It's <laughs> going over here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Briante, uh, 27, and um, I can't take you home to my parents. I cannot. What would the parents say? What? What's, no. I'm a good, classy Poor man. family. The they whole family. You a clown. A clown? Ooh. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm a clown? Well, I don't, do I look they like Ronald? Clown. Do I look like Not Ronald you McDonald? were oh, clown. Oh, they, they were, were clown. clown. I was, I was going to respect whatever you say. Okay. No. Why, why would they clown me? You're not my type. Oh, okay. No. Okay. Okay. I think it, it, they think I'd probably be joking taking you there. Mm, yikes. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, she's someone that's your type. Low, yeah, low key. Low key. But, but still key, but low key. Oh. Like on the piano, we're going from maybe Why like a G to key? a A. Um, I mean, not really. Maybe the, me and her maybe have similar hair kind of situations oh, going no. on. So I kind of. Not a wig. <laughs> Oh no no I'm just no, well this isn't really either but I like I like the yours. you're still I, still key I'm still feeling you I'm still feeling but you know B B for baby yeah, oh my yeah. God. yeah. Let's go over here hey, yo, I'm done, yo. your I'm name done. and age and why you ended up popping your balloon Hi I'm Tanaya I'm 27 um, I just can't get with the overall appearance and. Oh, I just wouldn't take you serious, and okay. I need someone that's serious. I like to have fun, but mm -hmm. and be goofy, but I think it's a little too much for me. A little too much. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But you're handsome. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Is she someone that's your type? Stallion. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> thank yeah. you. Okay. Awesome. Yes. All right. Cool. Thank you. And we did get, oh, our girl that was hanging on to her balloon hanging ended on. up popping. She was hanging. She was Name hanging. Name and age, and why'd you end up popping at the end? My name is Zola Stone. I'm 31. And, you know, I get it because I'm in entertainment, too. But I just, I wanted to see you without the wig and the glasses. Well, these are prescription. I can't, I can't, I wouldn't be able to see how beautiful you are without them. No, I have prescription, too. Like, yeah. I'm I should have wore contacts. Um... I don't have but I, I kind of figured you wouldn't want to take off your wig and your glasses and ruin the whole, like, oh, look and this is the my brand. Hair. It's my hair. But I wanted you to do that to get my final decision because, like, I get it. Like, I'm you didn't even give me. You didn't have to pop. You could have been like, yo, yo, handsome. Talk I knew show that man. you wouldn't do it. How did you know that about me? Because that's it's only just been the entertainment business. It's only been seven. And you're no. not gonna ruin your look. For how good you look, there's a possibility. <laughs> to be fair, the woman in the white has been literally disqualifying herself throughout the entire episode okay she will create fake scenarios in her mind and assume the guy doesn't like her based off of that fake scenario come to find out when they actually have a conversation with the guy he doesn't even view it remotely the way she views it okay so She's clearly insecure here. Wow, she gonna tell me my life. <laughs> so I heard to say, you know. Do it. And then I can well, get my I, Well, you, you already popped, so I'm kind of like, <laughs> my, my emotions. I didn't mean to pop it. But... Oh, you didn't mean to pop it? No, I just, I have arthritis. Like, my hands are bad. And like, uh -oh. it accidentally, literally just popped. You want the balloon bag? No, uh, uh. If you're willing to take off your She kind of broke my heart. She kind of broke my heart. It was, uh, if she hadn't have popped, 
I, I think you I would have. For real, I'm serious. I'm serious. You would have. Because it's not, I don't know all my beautiful <laughs> queens saying it's a character. Okay. It's like this, you know, when when my baddies have wigs and weaves, that's it's, well, sure it's accepted. I'm so handsome without the wig and the glasses. You that's don't what they tell me. I would have switched it. I told the other wonderful young, I told you I would have switched it up. But okay, I'm, I ain't going, you know, I'm a little hurt because you Thank are you. gorgeous. I love the, you didn't ask if she's my type, Artlet. Come on, come on. Oh, because you, that's my type. You, you didn't want her to get her balloon bag. It don't matter She has now. faith on her face. <laughs> okay, never mind. Okay. Um. All right, well, that is all the balloons popped. Well, we do thank you for coming on, giving us some thank laughs. You. Thank you. I, I was serious. Oh, but, well, okay. let's give it up for him, ladies. Thank you, ladies. I'll take thank this you. mic. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> all right, guys, so there you have it, okay? So let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think he was trolling? Okay, I low-key think he was trolling. <laughs> Um, I don't think this is the real him, if I'm being completely honest. If you were to remove the wig and the persona, I'm pretty sure, you know, he's a pretty good guy, right? But this is just not who he is. Uh, he might be a marketing genius, okay? Marketing 101 here. <laughs> um, you know, if they're talking about you, good or bad, that's more eyeballs to your brand. It really is. But I'm kind of curious as to what his Instagram looks like. All right, guys, so taking a look at his Instagram, he appears to be some sort of character, okay? This is a character that he plays, okay? Different wigs, um, entertainer, comedian, okay? Interviewing people here. Can we just talk about? Look at this guy. Look at this guy, because I don't think I will encounter him ever again. Go ahead. I'm an ATL for a few minutes. Yeah, so you know. Yeah, so you know, he seems like he's an entertainer here and he was, I guess, playing his character on the Pop the Balloon show, which arguably, you know, it is funny for sure, but arguably people can say that could potentially water down um the whole point of the show you know you can make the argument and say hey there's women that have gone on the show before that have clout chased and got their followers up so on and so forth promoted their modeling shows and things of that nature so you can say you know fair is fair okay <laughs> if they can do it why can't we okay i'm just hoping in the future the show doesn't turn into this overt clout chasing situation okay knowing that a lot of people are going to watch these episodes that you're not going to get a whole bunch of people overtly clout chasing okay i like the fact that um there was a couple that um are getting married if you guys remember a few weeks ago i had reacted to one of the follow-ups where a gentleman proposed to a woman okay you want to see more of those kind of scenarios where people are actually finding love and you know they're able to build future and um you know make something happen but let me know what you guys think provide me some feedback and until next time